Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, Ruby speaking. And today I decided to make a small break with a very high voltage and um, high capacitor because uh, I uh, fire the most everything I have with my experience. Okay, and I have to wait for some other pieces. Okay, but uh, I went to make a small uh, travel on the internet and I found at over Unity uh, Forum this thread from Sergdo. The thread is very high and powerful voltage from a small voltage. Okay, and in this thread you see these toroids uh, and circuits for the special toroids with uh, uh, four windings, probably the two from the down is a primary and first secondary and another secondary uh, on the top. Okay, but it is not very important. As uh, I don't speak Russian, I uh, suppose how many uh, turns it was, and I did it as uh, you can see here. Okay, uh, I took my uh, turrets, just uh, small things. I could do it very quickly because my turret fall down, and it breaks right in the middle here. So I could wind. The two half parts, this part and this part, and the a second part, and then make together here. So it was very fast to do these 500 turns on each of this uh, secondary or second secondary, I don't know, and 20 turns down. Okay? Then I uh, connected these uh, trides on this LED here. It is always my small LED. Is rated 3 watt for 2000, uh, 220 volt and it should uh, make a light of 30, uh, 35 watts but the consumption is 3 watt okay and then the very uh, simple circuits it, yeah, I took a uh, uh, tip 41C transistor and on the base I put a small resistor 1 kilo ohm uh, Sergdo said it would be better to use um, a potentiometer uh, variable resistor because it is better for the tuning. Just for the story, I put uh, here four of these in parallel because I noticed one is not enough, two is beginning to be good, three is very good, and the fourth uh, seems not to bring much more. And if you see on Sergdo uh, thread, uh, he has also a lot of paralleling. Uh, with a transistor and it can make some melting of metal you incredible okay now uh, i have seen that for my toroid and this led about uh, 3.8 or something so volt seems to be the best because each time you modify s slightly the voltage the resonance vary very strongly and the light also so everything seems to be tunable here Hmm, interesting, isn't it? Okay, but what is very interesting is the following. I will put the power here, and when I put the power on, it takes about half a second to light the lamp. And then the lamp is lit. Let's go. Okay. We go now. And I will count down. Three, two, one, go. Ooh. And you see the light is fully lit totally lit i think i have made a comparison with another uh, of the same light in the grid in the normal plug and it is not stronger simply interesting but it is red of course now let's go to the amperage you see 3.36 volt and 0 0.178 uh, amps this is 178 milliamps. Ooh, it is uh, ooh, about 0 0.6 watt or something so. Very interesting. 0 0.6 watt input. I will now shut down. To get uh, this uh, 3 watt here normally and 35 watt light. It is a very good system. I think it could be very interesting for the Joule Tiffer. I don't know if this system has already been tried at Joule Tiff. 
and or uh, a super ringer or dual ringer and everything. This is why I make this video. Perhaps it can interest all these people. Okay, I have tried a lot of other LEDs here. This one works very good. This one is flashing. This one doesn't work at all. It is not a LED. It is a, a halogen. This one is uh, nothing. And this one is from Philips. Here is uh, the best one for the moment. Okay, I think I have said everything in my possibility. Oh no, something very interesting. The trace. See the trace. It is very interesting. It is a, a very sharp going on, ringing and then go down and on. It is about we are at 50 volt division. You see, it is almost 20, uh, 200 volts above and 200 volts down. About. But I will check everything. Okay. Okay, Sergio, thank you very much for your uh, input. And uh, I will probably share this uh, video on the YouTube. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, Ketul.